Well, hello, Facebook community. Alejandro Tornato here, uh, coming directly from Beaufort, Georgia. And it's uh, 7.48 p.m. Um, I was not able, I mean, to come and do a Facebook Live this morning. Uh, but uh, uh, today is Wednesday, and today is the day. I promise you that I was going to be with you on a Sunday and on uh, in the middle of the week on Wednesday. And so here I am. Now, before, before I start with what I wanted to share with you uh, this evening, um, it will not be very long, um, but from this past Sunday, um, have you been uh, thinking or going over uh, the quote of the week, uh, the quote of the week by uh, Albert Einstein. And what uh, did he say on that quote? Crea creativity is knowledge having fun. Creativity. Creativity, are you have you been creating new things in your life? And uh, if you if you have been, well, good good for you. But um, that that's a good way. I mean, to really uh, think out of the box, out of that comfort zone, and um, and to really um, exercise the creativity that we all have. But sometimes, I mean, we, uh, we do not bring it forth and we do not uh, share that creativity with others. But tonight, uh, I wanted to uh, uh, bring to you um, something. I mean, uh, just recently, um, I came across this book. It's called I Dare You by William Danforth. I mean, you can look it up on uh, any bookseller. Um, I, I got the uh, Kindle uh, version uh, that I put on my, um, on my device here on my iPad uh, on, on, on the Kindle app. And uh, so I don't have to carry uh, so many books. I can carry the iPad and I can carry tons of books I mean that uh, I have read and uh, they are on the list to be read. But this is, um, uh, I haven't, um, I, I just started, I mean, this book uh, and I said it's called I Dare You. And let me, let me just read to you. Um, uh, just uh, a few lines of the first chapter. It says, I dare you. It is difficult to put a challenge on paper. I would rather look you straight in the eye and say, I dare you. In my mind, that's exactly what I am doing. I am on one side of a table. You are on the other in this case, I am on this side of the camera and you are on the other side of the camera. Same, same thing, different, different uh, circumstances. Um, I am looking across as I'm looking to you right now and saying, I dare you. Now don't get don't get mad at me. Uh, I'm not <laughs> I'm not trying to be cheeky or disrespectful. But I dare you. And it says, "I dare you, young man, you who come from a home of poverty. I dare you to have the qualities of a Lincoln. I dare you." hair of wealth and proud ancestry, with your generations of worthy stock, your traditions of leadership, 
I dare you to achieve something that will make the future point to you with even more pride than the present is pointing to those who have gone before you. I dare you, young executive, to shoulder more responsibility joyously, to launch out into the deep, to build magnificently. I dare you, freshman, to make the varsity team. I dare you, young author, to win the Nobel Prize. I dare you, young researcher, to become a microbe hunter. Now, I'm, 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 I'm looking so much forward uh, to continue and to keep reading this book because that is something that I need for myself. Now, uh, it started by saying, I mean, if I am on this side of the table, you're sitting on the other side of the table, then I'm looking straight in your eyes and I say, I dare you. This is to ha having a conversation with somebody else and daring someone else to achieve bigger goals, uh, to climb bigger mountains, to climb more difficult mountains. You know, the other day uh, I was reading um, an article saying that uh, there have been close to 300 people who died trying to climb Mount Everest. So, climbing Mount Everest is definitely a risky, I would say, endeavor. However, could that prevent uh, more people from trying to climb Mount Everest? I hope not. I hope that people would continue to have the desire and the determination to go for the summit of Mount Everest. Now, it doesn't have to be a real mountain, but what is your Mount Everest? I'm sure that you have a Mount Everest that you want to climb, that you just, I mean, you're not saying, well, that's my Mount Everest and I am satisfied with getting a quarter of the way up or even halfway up or even three quarters of the way up. No, what you want is to conquer the summit of whatever is your Mount Everest. You want to get to the top. And you will not, hopefully, you will not rest until you get to the top of Mount Everest. So, in my case, sometimes what I need to do is for myself to speak to myself and to say, I dare you, Alejandro, I dare you to do X, Y, and Z things. I dare you, you know that that is your Mount Everest. I dare you to go all the way, to not even look down and look back and say, my goodness, I mean, I've come a long way. Now, the summit is still up there, but I've come far along. 
I think that that is enough. No, is never enough. Is never enough when you know where the summit is and when you can see the summit is never enough to stop before, to stop an inch before hitting the summit is not enough, is not good enough. You see, that's, that's the definition of mediocrity. Mediocrity is, 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 is to have a goal and to just go halfway. That's what mediocre people do. They go halfway and they said, well, I mean, that's, that's far enough. But it is not far enough because there is another half to go. So I was, um, I was sharing uh, this with you because as I, as I look into, um, as I look into my, into my life, um, I can see that um, I am a person. And today, uh, I mean, the, the, the other day I had an example. And today I had another example. And this is, you know, I am not uh, very, and, and this could, this, I mean, this could sound very simplistic, to you, I mean, if you're listening to me now live, or if you're uh, catching the um, the replay later on, I want you to comment uh, below. I, I I want to hear your feedback. Uh, I, I I I I want your comments. I I love your comments. I want to have. A conversation with you. Don't let me just be a monologue kind of speaker. I want your interaction, uh, even if you even if you catch it later on. Just comment, and I'll and I'll reply to you, and I have a conversation with you. But uh, this this afternoon, you know, um, I just recently. When when I do my um, when I do my uh, Facebook video lives, I do it through a program that is called Ecam Ecam Live. I mean, it's a program for uh, Mac users. Uh, that's what I'm using right now to do this video. It's a great program, a great platform. But when I do my podcasts. Um, I do it with, I record it with a program called Audacity. Audacity. Some, some of you may know it. Um, it's like um, a garage band, I mean, on, on the Mac, but it's, it's a different program. And, and I like it uh, more. Um, I mean, I know how to utilize it and so forth. And so just recently, I mean, when, the, when Apple... Uh, introduce the new operating system for the Mac. I mean, uh, I think it was um, uh, OS 10.15 and it's Catalina. is the Catalina operating system. And so I upgraded um, my Mac to that. And guess what happened? I wish I would have read it before. So I did the upgrade and then I tried to use Audacity, and then Audacity uh, was not officially um, uh, working with the new version of Catalina for the Mac. And, and so today, I went uh, into Google, then I went into a particular blog, and I saw that someone had posted that there was a way to actually get Audacity, the latest version of Audacity, to be compatible with Catalina, with the, with the latest um, operating system for the Mac. 
And I said, well, I mean, how do you do it? And so there were some instructions. And so he says, well, you just go to uh, the, um, the applications folder and you go to the utilities folder and blah, 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 and follow these things and just write this um, uh, this uh, this code or this um, uh, string of, of of text into this box and blah 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 and is going to happen because the problem was that uh, the, the 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 fact that um, audacity would not work is because it could not access the microphone and so when you recorded your voice it would the microphone on your computer would not pick it up and you wouldn't be able to record. It was just like a flat line as opposed to like a wave kind of a line if you're talking. And so I began to try to do this in order to get Audacity to work. And I am not a what you would call a technology guru or a technology expert but what I did is I began to do what the instructions that I was given and I was trying one thing and it didn't work and, and, and I tried a different way and it still didn't work and I tried and so I kept on trying different things and going around those obstacles to get it to work. And I would say I I spent maybe maybe 45 minutes trying different things and and then uh, restarting the computer and and trying something else and something else. And guess what? After that it finally I got it to work. And as I got it to work, I looked at it and I, and I already recorded the next podcast episode on Audacity that I'm going to edit and I'm going to publish on iTunes. But once, once I got that process to work, then I looked at the computer and I closed my eyes and I said, that is me. That is me. The person who even, even something perhaps as simple as getting that program to work. But I looked at what I did and it's not that I am patting myself in the back. It's not that I am proud of... of no, 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 no. That's not it. But, but I am so freaking happy that I kept on trying and that I kept on making changes and taking risks in, in, in doing things because I was more concerned with the with, 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 with the with the journey that I knew that persistence, that I knew that perseverance, that I knew that determination, that I knew that even having a PMA, and I talked with you on our previous session about PMA, a positive mental attitude, as opposed to NMA, a negative mental attitude. And when we have that combination of determination, persistence, and PMA, a positive mental attitude, things are possible. Anything is possible with a positive mental attitude. And with the fact of not giving up halfway through it. And said, well, I mean, it's already taken me 
30 minutes and it didn't work. So forget about it. Close the computer. That's it. That's not the attitude. Now, what is your attitude toward things? Do you, do you spend time and if it doesn't work, I mean, it just doesn't work, let's get to the next thing? Or you have that element of stickability? Are you sticking with the projects that you want to seed through to the end? Not short of the end, but to the end. And my end was to be able to get that program working so I could continue recording podcasts from it. And it did happen. And I'm happy. And I'm sharing this with you because I want to inspire you. I want to let you know that if you are struggling with something that you want to get done, whether that is your Mount Everest, whether that is your summit, stay with it. Stay with it and keep going. Perhaps you will not be rushing to the summit. You will not be running to it. You'll be one step after another step. But if you stay with it, you will reach your summit. You will get your work done your project done, whatever it is. And I just, based on what I read to you from this book, with all my love and respect for you, I dare you. I dare you not to give up before whatever you want to do is fully done and completed. I dare you. I dare you. As I dare myself to keep living a life not stopping short of the goals and the dreams that we have and that, that we want to achieve. Thank you very much. It's been a great uh, time, uh, a great um, a few moments that I had with all of you. It's always great to connect with you. And I leave you, as I always do, reminding you to live every moment. Be resilient.